Okay, there's your strap. It's not exactly them. The way they folded this strap just, jeez. God, that's so wacky looking. Hello! I'm reviewing the Ortizon M10 party speaker, party box is what they call it here. I did like the green on this one and kind of the square shape and I was kind of like, eh, I'll check it out. So this speaker was sent to me for free. This is a 24 hour rated battery life speaker, 100 watts. It's got Bluetooth 5.0 and uh, it's meant to be taken out to the beach or a pool because it's IPX7. So the X in there means that it's not rated for sand or dust. The seven means that you can submerge it underwater up to a meter for 30 minutes and it should be just fine. Some of the notable things, yeah, the shape on it kind of stands out to me. Build quality is kind of meh. It's not terrible, but like there's some buttons on here that just kind of look cheap to me. The JBL is more rubber and cloth feeling versus like this is more of a plasticky feeling thing. It's definitely designed for a foreign non-US market. It's got some weird things. It's got a mic input, so I guess you can do karaoke with this. It's got a TF slot, which I believe is like a micro SD card slot if you have music and you don't have internet. It's USB-C, so that's good. And it's also got a 3.5 millimeter in, so it does have some good options for inputs. So let's, uh, let's take a listen to some of the audio. Here's max volume. Max volume. <laughs> States of the morning, tell me you want it You know I go on and on, cause you're too important I'm honest, too honest, know if you touch me I'm gone it. Just say the word and I'll give you up, I can't don't back, back This ain't a good time, I'll be in the love time It's been like this for a while Sound-wise, it doesn't actually sound good until it goes to about max volume. I don't know why, but the bass doesn't really seem to kick in until max volume. That's my perception anyways. The Ortizon is definitely not the top tier speaker here. It's not terribly bad. It sounds pretty good. It has like a kind of a high emphasized mid-range that when you put on the EQ, it kind of brings that down a little bit and it sounds good. It sounds really good from the front. It doesn't sound as good from the back. I would say, honestly, I was much more impressed by the uh, ugh, the Tribit Blast and the uh, Soundcore Ocean Boom Plus. Jesus Christ. Uh, these were the, probably the most impressive, and if I'm not mistaken, I think these go for about the same price as the Ortizon here. So I'd probably pick one of these up, and the Tribit is going to have the most bass out of all of these. Um, Honorable mention, the Soundcore X600, which I, I love this speaker, by the way. I actually really enjoy this speaker. Uh, it doesn't get as loud as the rest of them, but it's not that far behind if you're looking for that spatial audio that this one provides. It's just a really fun way to listen to audio. It kind of brings a new dimension to it that is fun to listen to. Um, the Ortizon doesn't really stand out to me that much. I think if you get it, you're going to feel a little disappointed. The build quality is just not as premium as some of the others for the price. Now this is going on sale for I think 119 bucks on Amazon right now. So that's kind of not a bad deal, but honestly the, the Soundcore and the Tribit are probably just as cheap or maybe just a little bit more and I'd probably opt for those. The only thing I like about the Ortizon is I like the green. I like the colors. I, I think they're getting onto something kind of cool. I kind of like the square shape. Um, I just, I think they're gonna have to step it up a little bit. It just doesn't quite feel as premium as the other speakers. It feels like they're still kind of catching up. Yeah, like for example, like just start with the strap here. Like the strap is just wonky. Uh, it just doesn't look good. Like if you're gonna try and go for the premium feel, take a look at what Marshall did. Look at this beautiful 
design that they have. They have the suede underneath the leather. And then when this comes in the box, it comes in a perfectly round shape. This t I know the handle strap's a small thing, but it's really not. It, it speaks towards the quality and the thought that goes into the production of the speaker. And then you get something like this. It feels kind of like an afterthought, kind of like, a, oh, this is cool, but it makes you look stupid. So uh, would I recommend this speaker? Uh, no, I think there's better options out there. Honestly, it's not bad. It sounds fine. You'll probably be happy with it, but it's not, I just don't, I think other manufacturers are providing a little bit more for you. So nice try, Ortizon. Um, people don't just want cheap speakers. They want nice speakers. And you're not really going to stand out until you start upping your game dramatically. So I hope you'll take that to heart. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you're feeling motivated or you just like me, the way you can show your like is by buying from my affiliate links below. That's the only way I actually generate money to afford my studio lights and to just be in general able to afford the other interesting projects that I hope you also find interesting on my channel. But regardless, you sharing time and bothering to watch to the end of the video says quite a lot about you and maybe we would get along if we had a beer or something. Not that I'm inviting you all out to have a beer with me, but you know what I mean. Um, thanks for coming to the end of this. You get a nice Ortizon green star for this. So see you later. Bye.